Hey there, what's happening? This is Eric and Victoria. And we're coming at you live from our home office in beautiful Marietta, Georgia. Yeah. And we are here for Max Out Monday. Monday, beautiful yes. Monday. And so what we're going to do, uh, uh, we're going to continue on the topic we started last week, which was how to up your odds for marketing profits. So if you're in network marketing or you have a home-based business and you want to really increase your profitability, meaning you want after everything is done, you want to have money left over, you definitely need to listen to this. And you want to listen all the way to the end. If you listen all the way to the end, we got a little free gift for you. So definitely check it out. We're going to be quick and to the point, but we're going to nail these points down. So we're going to be talking about how you can up your odds for increasing your profits in uh, marketing. So um, Victoria and I, we have a background in network marketing and, and as a result we have, uh, we've had a lot of successes, we've had failures, but most of all we had a lot of experience in what didn't work, what did work, uh, but one of the things we discovered is you can greatly leverage the internet oh, to yeah. get to that area of profitability. And so really one, one of the things we talked about last week, there are basically two key types of costs when you're in marketing, especially network marketing, two types of costs. There's money and there's time. Now, most people pay more attention to money than they do time. They're both important. They're, they're extremely important. Yeah. But time is something you look back, the further on you go in your life, the more you realize a lot of that time you cannot get back. So that's an extremely, extremely valuable cost is time. And so what we want to help people to do is to reduce their financial outlay and also reduce the time, that cost of time. The time is an opportunity cost. That means you're spending time on something and when you could be doing something else that you really wanted to do. Like spend time with your family, spend time with your loved ones, spend time with your spouse, spend time with your children, you know, spend time with a hobby, spend time on vacation. Time is absolutely a critical benefit. And so one of the things we want you to do is experience having control of your time. Sometimes time can be more valuable, more expensive than money. Yes. Yes, much more expensive than money. And so, again, a lot of times you can get that, back that money, but it's hard to get that time back. Yeah. And so, um, one of the things we wanted to talk about in this particular episode is we want to talk about how you can reduce those costs. What specifically take you can do to take those costs down, right? And so, by the way, if you're tuning in, if this is your first time, please let us know. We want to know who you are out there. If you have any questions, just give us a shout out. We would definitely get right back to you. And we'd love to know um, any, any comments that you have, uh, any information that might be more helpful to you. Because we have a passion to help especially especially network marketers sure make their lives a little bit let's say a lot better yeah. we don't want people to go through what we went through <laughs> we went through we went through some really, really hard dead. times because we did everything our upline told us to do oh, how high do you want us to jump okay that's hey that was it and it worked for us initially uh, we made some good money initially. We got some huge bonus checks. Yeah, we did. We were up there on stage with the top leaders. One question in some contests. We were really, really excited. Yeah. But the other thing we discovered was this was supposed to be our ship to financial and time freedom. And what we found out was that it was a leaky boat because we were bringing a lot of people in and cycling a lot of people out. And so we'd have to replace those people. And boy, let me tell you, that is not fun. It is absolutely a headache, right? And so one of the things we yeah. want to focus on is what specifically can you do to reduce that element of time? Plug that, that hole in that, that code. Plug, plug up that hole. And so really, um, again, we're going to specialize on um, the Internet. And if you look at the ways you can market your business on the Internet, 
there's one giant among giants out there. You know, of course, there's YouTube and there's Google. and But you know what? When it comes to marketing your business online, you can't, it's, it's just, you just can't beat Facebook. No, you can't. Not with no. over Not two, with two billion people. Two billion users. With a B. With a B, two billion. I mean, it's just a market you simply cannot ignore. You can't. Not if you're serious about business. And it's not always easy because they change the rules. They, you know, they Algorithm. do little tweaks weeks yeah. here and there um, and so recently they made a change to the Facebook algorithm which is driving a lot of marketers absolutely crazy Bonkers. And, yeah. and so they changed how how information is disseminated in the newsfeed you know, for various reasons you know the whole Russian scandal that impacted them and then you had uh, uh, health professionals saying people were spending too much time scrolling down that newsfeed and they were saying you know what it's it's not very valuable for people to just look at all of these ads and marketing information. So they wanted to kind of tone that down and they wanted to focus on people communicating with other people that they know. And so that was one of the key changes that they made. Yeah. Now, but, but, but the thing is, how do you market in that type of environment? Well, if you're marketing correctly, it really shouldn't affect you that much. Shouldn't affect it at all. We didn't miss a beat. We still continued moving on. You still continue moving yeah. on. But if you're marketing the wrong way, and let me give you an example. Some marketers out there, when they heard about that announcement, that announcement's going on everywhere, everywhere. You know, Facebook lost about... Uh, thirty billion dollars in what? I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it, you know, it's cr kind of crazy. But you know, in, in in those things, markets go up and down, so you know, it's going to fluctuate. So, yeah. but it, at any rate, the point is, the point is, you know, you you've got to adjust in a way that really makes sense. And a lot of people adjusted emotionally, right? And so what they did was when they heard, okay. Well, uh, you know, they understand that they're making changes to the new feed and they want people to talk to people. And what they did was they started pu pushing all of their advertising into their profile page. And that is a big no-no, guys. Absolutely a big no-no. You know what? Uh, Facebook and Facebook's guidelines, it says that you are not supposed to market or promote your products on your profile page. Profile is just strictly for socialization. It's it's for socializing. I don't take it totally serious. It's just for fun. It's, it's, fun. it's for fun, you fun, know. Fun. And you know what? It's great to show your vacations. You can, you know, uh, fun. you can create curiosity. Absolutely. Yeah. On your, you know, on your profile page, you can you know, show when you're going on your beautiful vacation and you're hanging out on the beach, you, you know, you can say, hey, we're having a great time. We're enjoying our free time. Guess how we do it? You know, something very simple. But if you're serious and you have a business, you don't want to be blasting your company's name out there. Yeah, you don't want to be amateur. You don't want to be blasting your brand and talking amateur. about uh, talking about products. You know, you don't want to be putting before and after pictures on your profile amateur. page. And see, a lot of people, Amateur. a lot of people actually get away with that, but it's temporary. Oh, hey, they're on a mercy mission. <laughs> you know, eventually Facebook will find out. But if you're serious about having a business, mm -hmm. you're serious about promoting and building business, you've got to look and act like a business. You've got to have a fan page. You can't even do ads unless you've got a fan page. They won't let you do them on the profile. So if you're serious about being a business at all, whether it's traditional or network marketing, you gotta have a fan page. Yeah, yeah. You gotta. A lot of a lot of people think they can get away with it, but Facebook, uh, they're not the type of company to you know just kind of tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you know what you're doing is against the rules. Ignorance will they, not exempt they, you from. They the will penalty. shut down your account, yeah. and once Facebook they shut down account. your account, it's almost impossible to get it back up. But it's you know some people have done it, but you know the thing is. Why go through all of that trouble? Let's go ahead and do it, do it right correctly way. the first time, right? And so you want to, you know, stay away from the uh, profile page when it comes to advertising. But what we want to talk about is the ecosystem and the advertising ecosystem. I love that word, ecosystem, ecosystem. because it's something that's organic, it's something that's growing, and it's something that has a lot of synergy involved. It's, it's you know, things working together to, for the good, right? Yeah, and so when we talk energy. about, we talk about uh, 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 ecosystem of trust, because customers purchase 
for people or companies that they know, like, and trust. And that's something that you have to build over time. So in this new environment on Facebook, mm -hmm. what you have to do is develop a, a, an environment of trust and develop a following. And so there are certain components you need to build in order to have a successful ecosystem. One of those things, as we were just discussing, you cannot market or advertise from your profile page. You really need to have a Facebook fan page. page. You've got to have That's that right. fan page. And one of the things that a lot of people are talking about right now is forming a Facebook group. Because when Facebook mentioned that they were going to reduce the, uh, the reach or the organic reach from the fan page, they, one of the things that they were kind of winking at is the, the Facebook groups are a great way to get your message out. But you can't advertise on the group, but you can tie your group to your fan page. So that's one of the things. It all connects together. When you're looking dots. at the components, you got your fan page, you got your Facebook group. Another thing is, you know, you're going to have a lead magnet. Now, I'm just going to say real quickly, a lead magnet is like a gift. And God, by the way, guys, stick until the end. I'll show you how you can get your free gift. Free. Now, <laughs> now, with a lead magnet, free, a too. lead magnet is a great way to build a list. You know, you know, someone, you offer them a gift. It could be a free gift. It could be an inexpensive gift, but it's something that's going to be very valuable to them. And so through that process, they're willing to give you their valuable email address. So they give you their email address. It becomes part of a list that you're going to grow in your email autoresponder. AWeber, GetResponse, you know, this MailChimp, all of these email responders. Our personal preference is AWeber. So you've got an email autoresponder, you're building a list. You're building a list. And a list is something that you own. That is yours. That belongs to you. It's nobody's going Nobody Nobody's going to take that away from you. And when it comes time to market your products, market your business, so you've got your fan page, you're building a fan base, you've got your Facebook group, you've got your lead magnet, and so what you're going to do is pre present a piece of content, it may be uh, uh, an article, it may be a Facebook post, uh, but what you're going to let people know is that they can have an opportunity to get a free gift. You know, if they click on a link, they can get a free gift, and when they get that free gift, in order to get that gift, they're going to provide their email address, which is going to help you to build your list, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a webinar, and this is a little bit advanced, understood it takes time to get to where you want to go but what we're doing is we're giving you an overview of what the ecosystem you got to start somewhere you got to we're building a system we're building yeah. a city it's we're building we're building an ecosystem That's right? right and so and so with that um, that webinar is going to be your vehicle for selling that product so let's take a look at the different components you have your fan page fan where you're page. building your fan base That's Right, and that's connected to your Facebook group. These are people who are going to be following you on a regular basis. You're going to be providing valuable content to them so that they know, like, and trust you. Right, and then you're going to provide when you provide content, you're going to give people an opportunity to take advantage of your lead magnet, which is a free offer. They take advantage of that free offer, they provide you their email address, which goes into your autoresponder. So when you're ready to do your webinar, you've got a list of people that you can invite to that webinar That's and right. introduce that product. How simple is that, guys? That's the ecosystem. And so definitely catch us for Wednesday, Wealthy Wise Wednesdays. Yay. We're going to break it down even further. We wanted to just give you guys a broad brush overview tonight, but we're going to go deeper. And so with that, you have anything else to add, Victoria? Nothing other than knowledge is information, wisdom is action. All right. So enjoy your Monday. If it's not going well for you, let's make it a great Monday. Eric and Victoria are saying, make it a great one.